Now, in this video, we are going to discuss about the static resources. Static resource is something which will not be able to change once it is being assigned to any particular windows. So let's see how we can start implementing the static resource in a particular WPF window. So to create a resource right here, first I'm going to create the resource inside this window for this current window itself. So what I'll do, I'll say window.resources and inside this I can start putting some of the resources alright so as I have discussed about the resources example in the previous video where we were giving some overview of the resources I said like you can put some styles like putting some colors for the shape or for a particular control so that's what we are going to do here so here what I'll do I'll take the solid color brush alright and here the color for that one let's say orange all right so you can take any particular color but make sure that inside the resource whenever you are creating a resource like this like this solid color brush will be a resource for you so whenever you are taking any particular thing like whether it's a gradient color solid color you if there is a resource you will have to give it a key all right so here you can say that a key is a uh, orange color all right so now wherever i want to use this brush as a resource i can directly give it a name like orange color right now i just use it inside the window so that means doesn't matter in which particular control like whether in this grid or maybe some in other grid or maybe at any particular level if i want to use this color i can use it as the resource so let's see how to use it as the static resource so i'll just remove okay i make it the non pair tag now all right so inside this let's come to the design view that will help me out so let's say i take a button all right so there is a button i'll just resize it so that you can see it clearly all right now here is the button now if i want to use this brush so what will i do is i will say background like depends on which particular property you want to use this resource so since it is a color so i can use any property of this button or to any control where i want to set a color all right so rather than using a hard coded name here i will use the static resource so what i will write here is the static resource and the name is going to be the orange color let's put that all in the bracket in the curly braces all right and now let's come to the design and here you can see that this particular button is getting changed to the XAML. All right. So let's see both the windows together for now. So here I just assigned this window with a resource and this one is the solid color brush where I specified a value and a key. And by the time I wanted to use it in the background, I just use that one. All right. Similarly, I can put number of resources like that. Let's say I will create another one like green and here I'll say green color alright key has to be unique alright so here I will use another one like let's say border so when I say about border of any particular control like uh, button itself it will be having like border brush alright so if I want to change the color of the border again I can use the resource so again static resource and which you can see both are coming here all right that is why we call it static because everything is getting resolved in the compilation time in the design time right now i'm in the designing phase but i can access both of my resources as it is a static one all right so i will use green color for now and here you can see there is a button which is having orange as the background and green as the border all right so these are the static resources now as in the previous video where we were discussing about the overview of the resources i said like whether you if you want you can use a particular resource for a window or for some specific controls only 
so if you want to do that what I will do I will just uh, cut both of these styles from here and now I will put it inside grid dot resources so these resources will only be applied for those controls which are inside this grid if you are taking another grid or stack panel then these resources will not be accessible inside that but as I said generally we want to use a particular resource in our complete application alright like if it is a color also I want all of my window should have a similar appearance so what will I do I would like to access these resources from any particular page alright so what I'll do any particular window should be able to use these resources so for that I will come to solution explorer and right here you can see there is something called app.xaml inside which you have app resources so this is the application level resources alright if you're putting it here any window can access this orange color alright as a static resource so now if I'll come here you can see nothing is defined here but still my button is decorated with the orange background and green border so let's execute actually it's nothing related to execution because it's static and everything is applied at the compilation time itself at the designing time itself all right so this is about the static resources in WPF application